Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back. And today I'm gonna make a, a beat to the sample that Polka sent me. Um, the, uh, the breakdown of his sample will be later in this video. I'll probably record some guitar over it as well. And yeah, let's begin. Oh! Yeah, I hope that is right. Let me check everything. I wasn't recording. Fuck. Yeah, okay, so I recorded some guitar. I'll time fix it really quick. Okay, so I, I recorded the guitar and together with the sample, it sounds like this. I hope it sounds good. Let's fix the guitar a bit. Put the EQ on it. A room. So now I'll highlight both both the, um, the mixer tracks of the guitar and the melody. I right click arrow on an empty mixer track and then I click route to this track only. So they will be routed to one mixer track where then I can put a, a EQ cut on. So it applies to both of the tracks at the same time. Now, so now I can start with the drums. I'm just gonna go for a simple um, wheezy type bounce, you know. Two step hi-hat pattern with a sixth beat. Sixth... Sixth beat roll at the... Fuck it. Yeah, like this. Then I'll put some uh, middle notes in between. slow down the sample a little bit uh, i'm gonna put all the uh, sample parts on stretch so they make this snare a little bit to the left and uh and now of course we can't forget the, the wheezy fox I think that's it for the drums. They are not too complicated, just simple. Now I'll level them in the uh, mixer, simply.
Fuck it, two 808s again. I always do this for tutorials, but fuck it. Um yeah, that's work. Split by channel, delete all these, put them in like this. I like to separate the kick 808, claps, snares, and the hi-hats and the open hats. Now it's time for the arranging. Okay, so this is intro. So this is a whole arrangement, we have um, intro, free hook, hook, first, free hook, hook, first, going back into the pre hook, no bridge, another uh, hook, outro. For the outro I like to create a, a BPM automation of the master, just make it fade out, make it go to zero. And basically that's the whole beat, uh, it's, it's again. As I always do, super simple beats, but super fire beats, uh, placement ready. Um, I recorded some guitar for the sample, I made drums over it. Now you're gonna see Polka make the sample. Hope you enjoy it, and I'ma see you in the next. Yeah, I'ma see you in the next video. What's good to y'all, Probably Polka here, and today I'ma show y'all how I made the Spanish sample, and then I'ma pass it over to my boy Era. So yeah, ain't no talking, I'ma just get into the sample. So yeah, I don't know why I was messing up at the end, but yeah, that's pretty much the sample. First we have the Noir Pure Piano, and we have the Extra Body Preset, and that's gonna sound like this. So pretty much like the simple way you can make a Spanish melody or like a Spanish sounding melody, pretty much you just have to go into a harmonic scale. Like right now, this whole sample is in F harmonic minor and the harmonic scale is pretty much, you know, it just sounds more Spanish. I don't even know how to explain it. It just, it just sounds that way. First I put on the EQ, then the fresh air, then our RC20 with the vinyl three, then a ROM with the warm keys preset. That's gonna sound like this. Now I have the spaghetti western trumpet. Most of the sample uses spaghetti western by the way, I'm just saying. First I point an EQ, then a fresh air, then a reverb. Now it's gonna sound like this. Now I have this perk loop. And by the way, if y'all want to have perk loops like this and way more things, like a lot of stuff, I have something coming up for y'all in like a couple weeks with a friend. And yeah, stay tuned for that. First I went into the spaghetti western drum kit and then I laid down this. First I put on this EQ, then a crystalline reverb with the Dr. Clap room. Now it's gonna sound like this. And for some reason it sounded off beat, so I exported it out and pretty much just like made it all on beat. Except for this last part, it was still a little off beat, but I left it there because it sounded a little cool. And then on here I put on a vinyl one preset on RC20. Now it's gonna sound like this.
Now I have the enemy's base from five and Zonal things the aperture one shot kit. First thing I did was put on this star offset because it's just a bunch of dead space here. Then I normalized it. Then I put on this envelope. Then I put on a camo crusher with the more beef preset. Now it's gonna sound like this. Last but not least, I have the Oprah singer from the Spaghetti Western. And down here in the piano roll, I just put on these two keys because they control how the singer, like, what they sing. Because, like, in the beginning, she starts with A, but around here, she changes that. So that's pretty much what they do. For the effects, first I put on a Fresh Air, then a Valhalla Vintage Verb, then an RC20 with the meaty vocals preset. Now it's gonna sound like this. So that's pretty much it for the entire sample. Um, now that this is finished, I'm gonna send this over to my boy Era, and yeah, y'all have a good one.